So far this season, we've taken a look back on the career of Anthony Stacy and also Dave Esterkamp. Today, my partner, Brent Cowboy Clayson, takes a closer look at the career of Keith McLeod. If you would have told me shortly after I laid eyes on Keith McLeod for the first time that he would eventually be BG's second all-time leading scorer, a MAC Player of the Year, and a 12-year pro with four years in the NBA, there might have been some skepticism in my mind. However, any hint of skepticism would have completely dissipated once I witnessed his unmatched work ethic, competitiveness, and the love that he possessed for the game of basketball. You'd notice Keith entering the gym confidently wearing a pair of strength shoes like they were Jordan 14s, trying to increase his already mutant-like athleticism. Across campus, you might catch him bouncing a tennis ball, fine-tuning his handle. When Lenny Mattel and I would leave the gym for a date with a full tray of food at the Mac cafeteria, Keith would re-energize with a pack of Skittles and get back to work on his inside-out dribble. In games, he was ferocious, but it was a smooth ferocity. Whatever he did on the court, he did it hard. Whether it was taking you to the rim, coming off of a screen, or shot faking you out of your spandies, McLeod was, went at an amazing pace. He was a chip on the shoulder guy, but his chip was so big that it could have been forged by the ax of Paul Bunyan. He took and made as many big shots as I've ever seen a guy make. In 2002, he dropped 13 points in the final three minutes on the road against Central Michigan, including the game winning three. I couldn't process it at the time, and I'm still having trouble piecing it together. Keith was as fun in the locker room as he was to compete with. To this day, if he asked me to lace up my kicks and set a few screens for him, even in my current condition, it would be a no-brainer. Keith McLeod. Another Falcon to remember, Keith McLeod. 36-27, your score, Bowling Green on top. Second half when we come back.